another big win, five goals today, improving your records to eight and one on the season. What was the team's performance like? Did you accomplish the objectives you had coming in? Yes, very much so. Um, we, we set the team a goal today of, of starting on the front foot, so to speak, defensively, um, and, and being a little bit more aggressive in how we win the ball back and the area of the pitch that we win the ball back. Um, and, they, and they did that very, very well. Um, in the first sort of 15, 20 minutes, um, we were the decisions as to when to press and, and, and how to press were very, very good and we were winning the ball a lot in the middle third and able to build play from there and, and that allowed us to establish a foothold in the game very early and we dominated possession from that point. Cecilia Array and Emily Engelbrock were absolutely fantastic today in the middle of the park. Um, everything that came in there, they, they challenged and they won and, 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 and were, were the platform for a lot of our attacking play. Very, very good. Obviously, Hannah Shore continuing her stellar start to the season. A hat trick today. She's now scored in 10 consecutive matches. And uh, Sarah Zadrazil coming back and reincorporating into the offense two assists. So talk about some of the individual performances today. Yeah, attacking wise, first class. Um, as you say, Sarah just got off the plane last night from Austria. She actually played the night before that. So 48 hours ago, she was playing for Austria. Um, so we knew, you know, she wouldn't get through 90 minutes. Or we didn't want to play her for 90 minutes, um, obviously, because she needs some rest. But uh, uh, but for the, for the time that she was on, she was fantastic. As you say, two brilliant assists, but her work rate was fantastic, and uh, she was pressing well, recovering well, and always an option when we had the ball, which is which she always is anyway. Absolutely fantastic player. And yeah, Hannah uh, continues to, to score goals. She's she's such a naturally talented player. Um, obviously, we know she plays well at centre half. She plays well as a striker. Um, she's just a naturally talented player, and a very intelligent player. Her movement's good. Her first touch is good, and as we're seeing, her finishing is very good as well. So, uh, long may it continue. The offense has been just incredible this season, ranking up near the top of the nation. But today, you've got a shutout. Uh, Jasmine gets the clean sheet, the third shutout of the season for the team. What does it mean defensively to be playing like this, heading into? conference play here soon? Oh, it's hugely important um, and again that was a point of priority for us. Um, earlier games earlier in the season um, we played well attacking wise and played well defensively for large periods of the game um, but there were were instances where we let teams back in and you know, think back to the Radford game and the Campbell game um, where, we, uh, where we took leads but then uh, then the opposition were able to come back and, and, and claim something later in the game. So we wanted to make sure we closed the game out strongly today. Um, once we built the lead, make sure we keep possession well, we're patient, we're composed, and, uh, and we see the game out, and they were absolutely fantastic. So you're 8-1 on the season now. You've got Tennessee coming in here Sunday. How do you keep this role going? Um, I, I think for, you know, for a lot of players and, and, and collectively with, with certain units, we, we just keep doing what we're doing. Um, that, that obviously, we'll, we'll go in with a, with a game plan to that game as we do with each game, and, and that, that differs from game to game. Um, but uh, but if, many, if, you know, if, if the players can execute their roles as well as they have been doing, um, we'll, we'll be in with a good chance. I think.